All right, hey everyone, and uh, I just want to do this quick installation video on the newest way to get Goon Mod as well as everything else. And this involves the Payday 2 BLT, which is a new system, and it's going to be used a lot in the future for a lot of mods. As you can see, Alpha Restoration HUD, Project Canary, Payday the original HUD, Goon Mod, and uh, Poco HUD, as well as many more mods in the future. For instance, Poser is a new one that recently came out. We'll be using this mod system. In the past, script mods were kind of a pain in the butt to get working together. Sometimes impossible. So it's actually pretty cool that this has come out. Now it's got easy installation, in-game mod manager, easy menu system, customizable keybinds, automatic updates, self-updating. So these are all features, or at least these two automatic and self-updating ones, were features of Goon Mod, and they can now be used by other mods, which is pretty awesome. And uh, yes, it is incompatible with Hawk's HUD. First thing you want to do is download the BLT. So make sure you uninstall all your other LUA mods before you install this. It's pretty important, I would say. Now, the quickest way to get to your Payday 2 folder is just go to Properties, uh, Local Files, Browse Local Files, and just drag this stuff right into there. I'm not going to do it because I already have it. As you can see, you can match up. See, I have the mods folder right here, and I already have the Poser mod uh, installed in here. But we're going to install Goon mod uh, next. And um, Poser is just a mod that lets you pose your character in multiple different positions. Uh, the base game has positions for different for every uh, unique weapon. For example, <clears throat> so for example, snipers have their own pose and everything like that, and pistols have their own pose. And uh, this just lets you choose whatever pose you like best. It also lets you select your infamy card, which doesn't make sense, but whatever. All right, so this is the new Goon Mod website, pretty fancy. The old one, I guess, doesn't work anymore. It's just like the development or beta website. So you definitely want to use this one now. Uh, so we've got all the same features as last time. Crime.net Cargo looked to have been removed for a while, but it looks like it's back now. Uh, at least it says it is here. So there you go. Show in folder. I guess I don't want to download. There it is. The first thing we are going to want to do is just take the standard Goon Mod folder. Uh, where is, yeah, Payday 2 folder. And drag that into mods. Now, let me just make sure this hasn't changed. Okay, yep. The weapon customization folder still goes into mod overrides. So you're going to find that in the assets folder. And uh, usually you have to go all the way to the bottom. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Mod overrides. I've got a lot of things override, uh, overridden, but I uh, just drag that right in there. Boom. So let's start up the game and make sure everything works out good. Okay, so now that we are in game, you're going to be able to tell pretty quickly if you have the BLT installed. So there's Poser. Poser's installing. Uh, let's make sure, see, here is our BLT. BLT hook updates, goon mod updates, weapon customization updates, and Poser updates. So this is pretty awesome to have this many different mods installed at the same time. As you can see, I got a pretty cool gun camo too for that. Anyhow, uh, <clears throat> mod options, poser options, we've got our poser options. Poser, as I said before, lets you do a number of different things, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I actually like, mm -hmm. yeah, that one's awesome. It's got a bunch of different options. Maybe I'll uh, include it in another video. I actually plan to use it in another video, but uh, anyway, Goon Mod, we've got our modifications. Custom flashlight, custom lasers, custom everything. Custom waypoints, extended inventory, gauge coins, gauge mod shop, infamy Roman numerals, iron sight normalized sensitivity, mutators, push to interact, remember gadget state, and weapon visual customization. 
So let's just make sure the customization. Actually, I think you may have to restart your game. Usually you do. Yeah, you do. So guys, I know that I've said this before, but make sure you restart your game after enabling these options for the first time. Very simple. Just push quit because you're not going to see those options until after you do that. So I've restarted the game. Everything should be up and running now. Yes, it is. Look at that. Yeah, obviously, I'm going to say it again. Make sure you restart your game because you're not going to see these options. And yes, you do have to click on uh, that. There we go. I actually want it purple. There we go. So looks like everything's working. Let me just make sure because there were some people having problems with the mutators. But it looks like they're all working here and showing up. So there you go. Very simple. I'm loving this whole new BLT thing. It's very exciting. And it's a huge step forward in the uh, progress of Payday 2 mods. Hopefully we'll see a ton of new mods using this system. The previous way to do it wasn't super hard. But if you wanted to get, for example, Poco HUD and Goon Mod running at the same time, it was a lot more confusing. And it did require a little bit of going into the LUA script. This new system is amazing. All the mods can be updated uh, whenever they come out with a new update. You don't even have to look at the website or anything. And they just pop right up onto your PC. You can run a HUD mod, Goon Mod, Poser, etc. all at the same time with like no problems whatsoever. So as I said before, very cool. Yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. I've been a little bit busy lately, but I'm going to try to get back into the swing of things. Uh, as soon as I finish up uh, work right now, I got to get done, but that should be all taken care of by the end of this week. And then I should have, well, at least more time than before to make video stuff. That's the end. The other video was now completely out of date. And uh, if you saw that before, nothing that you saw in that applies here. If you have any problems, leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out. Remember to restart your game, of course, because you're not going to see those options. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next one.